Hi, question number 8 taken from June 2002, advanced level maths HSC P3. The straight line L passes through the points A and B whose position vectors are I plus K and 4I minus J plus 3K respectively. The plane P has equation X plus 3Y minus 2Z is equal to 3. First part, we need to give, I mean, given that L intersects P, find the position vector of the point of intersection. For the second part, find the equation of the plane which contains L and is perpendicular to P, giving your answers in the form AX plus BY plus CZ is equal to 1. Okay, so for the first part, we have vector A, vector B. And this is the line L passes through the point A and B and then it intersects a plane here we are so let's suppose this is the plane and that's the point of intersection and the plane P has equation this is the plane P all right it has uh, equation x plus 3y plus sorry minus 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 2z is equal to 3 Right, and the position vectors of these two points A and B are uh, 1, 0, 1, 4, minus 1, 3. Okay, so suppose we have the origin somewhere there. So this is the origin. Here we are as an illustration. Now, this is the line L. We need to find the point of intersection here. First, let us find the equation of this line. So we're going to find the vector AB. Now we know that vector AB is equal to from geometry AO plus OB. So that's going to be then uh, AO which is uh, O so minus 1 O minus 1 and then OB is 4 minus 1 3 and when you do the um, summing up of these two you're going to get 3 minus 1 and then 2. So that's the vector, I mean, sorry, the vector AB. So we can find the vector equation of this line. So the vector equation of line L is going to be the point. Maybe I can take the point A, 101. So 101 plus the vector AB times lambda. That's the parametric uh, equation of the line of the vector line AB. So I got 3 minus 1, 2 and that's going to give me 1 plus 3 lambda minus lambda and 1 plus 2 lambda. Good. So now that we have the equation of this line, we're going to solve two simultaneous equations. This equation plus that one. So here we have x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 3. So what can we do with this? So x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 3. So what is x? x is 1 plus 3 lambda. So 1 plus 3 lambda plus 3y. So y is minus lambda plus minus becomes minus. We have minus 3 um, lambda. And then minus 2z. 2 times z is 1 plus 2 lambda. So 1 plus 2 lambda. And all of that's going to give me 3. So 1 plus 3 lambda minus 3 lambda minus 2 minus 4 lambda is equal to 3. Plus minus cancels out. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Minus 4 lambda is equal to 3. Hence lambda is going to be sent this on the other side. It becomes 3 plus 1 is 4, divide by minus 4, you're going to get lambda as minus 1. So what will be the position vector of the point of intersection? So now we know that this is the position vector of the point of intersection. So position vector of um, the point of intersection is going to be then... 1 plus 3 lambda, so 1 plus 3 times lambda, lambda is minus 1. Can we get minus lambda, and lambda is minus 1, so minus, minus becomes plus. 
then you got 1 plus 2 lambda so 1 plus 2 times minus 1 so all of that's going to give us minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 and we've got 1 minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so therefore I can say that this point uh, position vector of the point of intersection can be minus 2i okay plus k minus ij sorry plus j all right plus j then minus k isn't it so minus i j k r minus 2i plus j minus k okay so here we are for the or you can leave it as this if you want so but that's fine all right now what about the second part the second part we are told that the equation find the equation of the plane that contains the line ln is perpendicular to p now this is our um, plane p there is another plane and the plane is perpendicular I just said this is the plane Q. All right, and this is the plane P. This plane here contains the line L. The line L is this line, and it is in that plane here. So, what is the vector equation of this line? But what is the direction vector of this line? The direction vector of this line is 3 minus 1, 2. So, here, plane Q can have a direction vector of um, 3 minus 1 2 and for this one the plane P the plane P we were told that the equation of the plane is um, here 3 sorry x plus 3y minus 2z so the normal to this plane this plane has a normal vector 1 3 minus 2 so the normal to this plane is 1 3 minus 2. We're going to use this one and that one and we're going to find the equation of the plane Q. Okay, so just do it. So I'm going to be using 3 minus 1 and then 2. And also I'm going to be using 1, 3 minus 2. So this is the direction vector of uh, the plane Q. And that's the normal to the plane P. All right. So we're going to be do, doing it by matrix, determinant of matrix. If I block this here, I'm going to get minus one, minus two, three, two, three, minus one, minus two, two, three. Block the one in the middle. You're left with three, two, one, minus two, three, two, one, minus two, and block this one. You get three minus one, one, three. So I've got 3 minus 1, 1, 3. So this is I, this is J, and this is K. Right, so let's proceed. Um, what can we do now to find the equation? Determine it. Minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 6 is minus 4. I'm going to put the X. Then I go to minus here. Minus. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, 2 times 1 is 2, minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. So I've got minus 8, put the y, then 3 times 3 is 9, minus minus 1 is 10. So I've got plus the 10, and I'm going to put the z, and this is, I'm going to call it d, right? So we got minus 4x plus 8y plus 10z is equal to d. Now it's just for us to find d. Now we know that the plane that we are actually trying to find the equation for is uh, contain. I mean contains the line L. And the line L has a position the has a position vector 1. There's a point on line L and it is 1, 0, 1. So this is x, y, z. Just substitute here. I've got d is equal to minus 4 times 1 plus 8 times 0 plus 10 times 1. I'm going to be left with 4 Plus 10, minus 4 plus 10 is 6, therefore d is equal to 6. Now the equation, hence the equation of plane q, which is required now, it is um, minus 4x, minus 4x 
plus um, 8y plus 10z is equal to 6. Here we are for this question. Not bad. 10 marks actually.